What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Jay Sama and uh This shit, this shit is wild, bro. <laughs> so, uh, if you guys can't tell, I'm feeling some type of way uh, by the title because you guys clicked on the video and you're like, man, I want to see Jay's opinion on this. This shit is wild. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually been emotionally invested in like people I've never met before. And so to watch these two people come together and just be the happiest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And then to watch them split apart in the middle of this video. Like, like I could tell they've been through the hardest, um, one of the hardest parts of breaking up with somebody you care about this much, but like, oh, holy shit. All right, in case you guys didn't know, which some of you may, some of you may not, I recently just came out of a huge, huge dark hole that was my breakup. And like, I'm still, still dealing with like a lot of the ramifications of it because we're trying to be friends, but it's just not really working because we know there's more there. And it's just like, it's, it's such a hard place to be in. And like the things that she's doing compared to the things that I'm doing, it's making me feel some type of way, but she thinks it's okay. And I don't think it's okay, but it's not my place to say that it's not okay. And that frustrates me that I can't be frustrated. And like trying to communicate with this person is just not working. But this is just me and this other person, like that, that shit was toxic. This, this right here, I don't know the intricacies of what these two have been through but they really fucking care about each other holy shit you could just look at this video of them sitting and trying to struggle they are fucking struggling to make jokes and to make light of this situation about them not being together anymore and it's it's crazy because they seem like they're just they just click like they're just two goofy people that just want to be goofy together and so to see something like this i i had to make a video on it because i scrolled through that comment section and i could literally see the fucking tears oh my god and then i go to liza's channel and i i pay attention to the timelines of everything and i'm like yo this makes a lot of sense Plus, I think she was working on her YouTube bread thing, so she has been able to upload for a while. But I have, once again, I have never been so invested in like two people that I've never met before. And so it's very interesting because it takes me back and it makes me feel some type of way and makes me remember what my breakup was like and like having like very awkward conversations and i even did fucking break down live streams where i was sitting here and just like guys i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do i'm pulling my fucking hair out like sitting here fucking crying on live streams bro which those don't exist by the way i made sure to delete those <laughs> thank god i don't have a lot of subscribers because woo, niggas would never let me live that down but i i hate to see something like this 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 is so fucking painful to watch and like it's one thing for liza to sit here and be like really physically torn up about it like like she's trying her best to hold it together and she just can't like she is literally losing it having to talk about this that happened six months ago my break that means they broke up right around the time oof oof they are a lot further than I am. Oh my God. Ugh. But, and even David, like to a point where he's sitting and trying to talk about this as if it's like, oh, it's not a big deal. And just, you could see the fucking pain, man. Yo, it's just, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to laugh to keep from fucking crying. Cause it's like, Yo, this shit is wild. 
So I really just felt the need to make this quick video and just, oh man, and, and you just, it makes me think about my ex and how much like I like to do crazy fun stuff with her and like all of the stuff that we like to do and the stuff that we like to talk about, but we just didn't, we just don't click. It just didn't didn't work. It's just not currently working. It's not even working as a friendship. I really gotta get my hair cut. Like this shit is all over the place. Or I could just wash it and curl it. So that'd be nice. But uh, we're just at two different places, and I can see that these two are at like not too far away places, but they're just starting to like get used to like moving further away from each other and they have a very similar circle of friends so i'm wondering how this is going to affect videos i'm wondering i i don't think i think they're professional enough and they're like big enough youtubers to recognize like oh shit okay personally we can't fuck with each other but like professionally it's like okay let's continue you know vlog av avoid it if we can like you know try not to have some of the same people in videos and stuff like that and their friends are probably just i don't know what their friends are saying because I don't know any of these people. I can only assume that they're supportive of both sides because this was even hard for me to watch. Like if I, I, I watch more of David Dobrik's videos, but I feel like I just want to like, just give Liza a fucking hug, man. Like this, look at this face, bro. Look at this fucking face. This just says like, my life is destroyed. Like Jesus Christ. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned and, and I'm just, I'm personally hurt. I'm just very hurt. So, but um, yeah, I I don't really have anything else to say on this. I just wanted to share this video. And I, if any of you guys are fans of Liza or David Dobrik, it's just you guys know, like, wow, this is like a pretty serious fucking thing, and it just relates to me so well. So I wanted to vent and kind of express the things that i was thinking and the things that i were feeling uh, i was feeling so you know but this is where canon culture was born in this depression okay so this is what whatever we're gonna get from this is gonna be dope shit <laughs> so uh i just i just assume that they're some something like me somewhat like me and uh you know that they're they're both creative people and from pain comes creation before destruction comes creation so before creation comes destruction my boys so um yeah i that's all i really wanted to talk about with you guys today um i hope you guys have a good one i'll see you guys tomorrow this has been your boy jason i'll see you guys next time